Hey, what's up, guys? We're at a HD here. Today, I'm bringing you guys a Black Ops Creator Class combination video. Uh, basically, outlining what, in my opinion, are the best Creator Class combinations to be using in the Call of Duty Black Ops. And uh, these classes cover pretty much all uh, playstyles. So, for everything from like uh, you know playing really defensively and uh, defending the flags and just uh, straight up bum rushing to the enemy spawn. And uh, these classes are just about good for everything. Uh, I always like to change my playstyle. You know, depending on the map and how I feel and uh, whatnot. So, basically, if you equip these classes, you have a lot of fun and you have should have a lot of success in the game. So, let's get to it. Uh, the first class I want to showcase to you guys is the MP5K with lightweight marathon guys and uh, you can choose either rapid fire or extended mags and since I made this video I actually have a tendency now to use extended mags over rapid fire but uh, rapid fire is really good on uh, say medium long range maps so there's the kind of density of enemies coming towards you I mean or the frequency I should say is going to be less so you will have time to reload but uh, rapid fire is good for close range engagements uh, over to extended mags and obviously for obvious reasons guys uh, extended mags is better for slightly larger maps guys because uh, it has lower recoil and obviously you know, you're know you going to be getting more hit markers at a uh, slightly longer range so you need the extra ammo uh, C4 claymore whatever you like guys I like to use the claymore just because it will get you more kills uh, slider hand uh, over steady aim especially if you're running uh, rapid fire however steady aim isn't too bad with extended mags uh, if you like if you're playing the lower sensitivity especially like two or three or four uh, steady aim is actually a pretty damn good guys so I don't use it because I play on the seven sensitivity and it is quite hard actually to hip fire um, at that sensitivity but yeah so I uh, always use a single pistol when you're rushing because the Kimbo's do take much too long I like to use either the M1911 with extended mags or the Python with the speed reloader I generally like to stick with the Python uh, the next assault rifle, or the first I should say rather I want to showcase, is the Commando. This is probably the best assault rifle in the game, or at least in the top three. Uh, it has the fastest reload time out of any assault rifle, 2.05. So uh, if you're using, say, maybe extended mags, you could choose to go with, uh, say, like Harden Pro or even use Warlord. This is probably one of the best um, assault rifles to Warlord uh, to put Warlord on. Uh, I always like to play with Slider Hand, but... Um, yeah, if, you, if you're one of the guys that like to use Warlord, uh, say maybe use, I don't know, like Jewel Mags and Red Dot, or say if you just really like using two attachments, the Commando is your weapon of choice, and uh, RPG is really good for Domination. I love playing Domination with um, Flak Checker and Ninja. Uh, it's a really, really lethal, guys. Um, yeah, I do like the Frag Grenades over the uh, Semtexes for playing domination though just because you can throw them longer and bounce them kind of around corners and stuff and uh, yeah but semtexes are much better for rushing because you throw them quicker and you don't have to cook them uh, the next class the very overpowered AK-74U <laughs> it's not so overpowered anymore guys but it's still nonetheless a beast weapon um, this uh, uh, use rapid fire actually if you're playing on a two or three since uh, through a two or three bar uh, connection uh, because the uh, the uh, sorry uh, the Gee, I lost my words. The hit detection, there we go. <laughs> uh, the hit detection isn't as good, obviously, so with rapid fire, you can pump more bullets into your enemies and drop them quicker. Uh, so, scavenger, sleight of hand, and marathons are really good for rushing, guys, especially with the AK 74U. Uh, the next class I want to show you guys is the PSG 1. Uh, this is really good if you just say want to kind of try out sniping, I guess, and um, uh, it's, it's kind of good for learning, I guess, because so, uh, I like to use the L96, but uh, the L96 is better for kind of slightly more aggressive playstyle, but if you kind of uh, use the PSG with like Scout Pro, you'll probably actually get more kills, I'd say. I'm not sure, but uh, the PSG is actually a really beast, guys, but it behaves so differently to the L96, but uh, it's probably better, but I don't know. I use the L96 a lot more, just I find it more fun. And uh, yeah, but this is actually a really beast class. I do use this one sometimes. Uh, uh, the reason why I didn't uh, change the first and third tier perks is because you can pretty much really use absolutely anything when you sniper lightweight. Uh, if you maybe you know, want to trick shot every now and again, uh, now and again, play more aggressively and whatnot, or ghost. Uh, if you want to, you know, use the proper sniper perk, I guess. Uh, uh, good creator class combination uh, in terms of perk for this particular class. So using the PSG would probably be like ghost and ninja, but. Um, Anyways, and I like to use the jammer because you can place it down so quickly, and if you're not using Ghost, uh, that you know the enemies wouldn't be able to see you on their radar. So that's a really useful piece of equipment. Uh, Famous Red Dot. 
Uh, the best uh, reticle I found for this was lines with dot and with the blue or green reticle color. I like to use the blue slightly more over the green, but it depends on the maps, guys. Uh, if you're playing on a bright map, uh, use a darker reticle like blue, but then if you're playing on a map, say, like Crisis or Cracked or Hanoi or something a little bit darker, uh, cho uh, I'd choose to go with green. Uh, yeah, concussion grenades. I generally have a tendency to use concussion grenades over flashes. There's, I think there's only like one class I choose to use flashes on, but concussions are much better because, uh, like, uh, you throw them quicker and I could just, I could do a whole video on why concussions are better, guys. Just, uh, just have faith in me in that one. Uh, scavenger and ninja, guys, they're really beast. Um, extra is pretty much uses that in every creator class, um, uh, in every class that he has on Black Ops, uh, but I like to switch it up a little bit. Uh, the next one, the Galil with the Silencer, guys. This is undoubtedly uh, the best uh, stealth class in Black Ops. You will be completely invisible with this class, guys. With Ghost, obviously, they can't see you on the UAV. You can't get killed by killstreaks and whatnot. And with Hacker Pro, the enemies cannot see you on their equipment, uh, sorry, on their motion sensors, so that's really good. Uh, Tomahawks and Flashes, uh, that's just a little bitch class, I guess that's a bit of fun, uh, but it's still actually really useful in, uh, say if, you're t if your team's losing and, uh, you know, you really don't, uh, say you're going negative maybe in, team in TDM and you just want to, it's a really good class to uh, kind of get a hike idea, I guess, but you have to play a little bit more defensively with that one, guys. Uh, this is a really good aggressive class, guys. Uh, this works for just about any game mode. I'd highly recommend this class for something like uh, maybe... I don't know, Team Deathmatch, or, um, it's also pretty good in Search and Destroy if you take off Scavenger, like, say, maybe replace it with Ghost, or, um, or Hardline, or Flak Jacket, or something like that for Search, but if you're playing TDM, or probably Domination, actually, uh, Scavenger and Steady Aim and Extended Mags on the AEG, or Org, are really beast. The Org is the, has the best, in my opinion, uh, the best hip fire out of any, uh, assault rifle in the game, guys. Uh, the next one I want to show you guys is the G11, guys. The G11, uh, I actually have a tendency to use this weapon over the M16. I just really enjoy the high fire rate. It has the highest fire rate out of any weapon uh, without an attachment, like any stock weapon. So um, it has a fire rate of uh, 1,250. And uh, yeah, uh, I think the MPO, if you put rapid fire in that, does have a higher fire rate. But like, as I said, like a weapon without any attachment, uh, you can't find a gun with a higher fire rate. So it's a th still a three hit kill. So it's really, really good. And I like to use this weapon with hardline when I'm running low kill streaks. So like, uh, spy plane, counter spy plane, and napalm or something like that. It's a pretty good kill streak setup. So um, hardened pro, yeah, will actually decrease your flinch a lot. And uh, Tactical Mask Pro, you know, it's good for kind of sitting, uh, if you're, you know, like, sitting somewhere in the buildings and whatnot, and, uh, you know, you can't play too aggressively with this weapon, uh, especially if you're not using, like, Steady Aim. Steady Aim's good if you want to take it up a little bit and play a little bit more aggressively, guys, but, um, or, yeah, or maybe Ninja, you know, um, yeah, Tac Mask Pro, guys, if you guys haven't got it, uh, do go out and try and get it, it's really beast, and, uh, the next class, this is the Legendary Spaz 12, guys. I always, always, always keep this class in my creator class, in my um, creator class slots, guys. It's really, really awesome. It's so much fun to use, guys. Uh, always silence your spaz because uh, it actually has been tested. There is no range drop off whatsoever. It's completely the same, just that you don't show up on the radar. So, lightweight, steady aim, and uh, either marathon or hacker. Hacker, maybe if you're playing search or something or ninja. But um, uh, I like to use this class mainly in TDM. Uh, so go with like lightweight and uh, marathon. I'd highly recommend that. And always use a pistol. Uh, I'd recommend the Python with the speed reloader, just because it's the strongest pistol. It's a two hit kill. All the others are three hit kills, I believe. And uh, C4 that can come in really handy. I actually have got. I actually got a triple C4 recently. That was pretty exciting uh, with that class. But uh, yeah, uh, C4 or the claymore, whatever you like. Uh, Tomahawks, pretty much a must, along with concussion grenades, because you're going to be doing a lot of rushing. And uh, there's a video, guys. I'll just uh, go over the the um, classes again. Oh, and last one. Uh, yeah, I almost forgot, guys. The glue with dual mags with. Um, Jeez, lost my words there. With flak jacket, sleight of hand, and tactical mask pro, guys. Uh, this is the class to be using on Nuketown. The Galil, because it has five extra bullets over any other assault rifle besides the G11. I just like to always have an automatic weapon, just in case the spawns do flip on me. Uh, yeah, so that's that. And uh, RPGs come in quite handy on Nuketown. 
and uh, either the motion sensor or the claymore. I like to go with the motion sensor. I just put it in the middle of one of the buildings, and I have a complete control of that's uh, pretty much that one third of the map or that flag or whatnot. I find a motion sensor to be really handy. So here I'll just go over the classes again, so you guys can kind of see, and uh, you know, just if you want to copy them uh, on your creator class. Uh, uh, slots or whatnot, guys. Uh, they're really, really good. You can't go wrong with these classes, guys. Uh, uh, they're classes here for rushers, for people who like to play a little bit more defensively, and uh, you know, it, it's just I think it's a really kind of broader range of uh, the best creator class combinations, guys. Um, I've watched other videos, and I really don't think any uh, any other YouTuber YouTubers have come up with a better creator class setups, guys. Uh, if you guys use these, you cannot go wrong. Uh, yeah, this is where at HD is sunny.